Apparently, we didn't hire the chairs and tables from these guys. And we can't start dismantling the marquee with them in it. Can't or won't? Can't. Health and safety. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to phone charity. Nonsense. There must be a delivery note in the office. Uh, Carl, be a good boy. Pop into the office, see who we hired the tables and chairs from. Yes, ma'am. Sorry about this. I wonder how Charity's feeling this morning. No. Poor kid. It's a shame it had to end up like that for her. Yeah, it. well, you know, these things happen. Anyway, could have been worse. There you go. How are you feeling? Well, how do you think I'm feeling? I'm in agony. I don't think I'm going to have that cow. You're not still on about that, are she you? She pushed me, Chaz. Why would she push you down a flight of stairs? She hardly knows you for a start. Oh, because she's jealous? <laughs> I'm not being funny. Why would Sadie King be jealous of you? Well, it doesn't make any sense. And you were drinking. She... Remember? She pushed me, right? Well, it looks like we got them from Mattingly's. I'll give them a call. Thank you. Perhaps in the meantime, you could start loosening a few nuts and bolts. That's if it's not too much trouble. Let's crack on. You really must learn to... Put your brain in gear before you start shouting your mouth off, lad. You loused up big time last night, Carl. I've said I'm sorry, all right? And you always are. Do you realise how hard me and your brothers have worked to get that cricket pitch? Yeah, and while we're on the subject of last night, who was that bit of rough? Her name's Chaz. Yeah, and your wife's name is Colleen. Who just ha happens to be my best friend. You know, it's about time you started getting your priorities in order. Oh, for goodness sake, is it have a pop at Carl Week? Anyway, shouldn't you be down the kennels? I beg your pardon? Picking up your dog? Jimmy's gone to fetch him. From the vets. Is that what he told you? I'm off out. Damon hasn't really been at the kennels, has he? Seem to be enjoying yourself last night? Yeah, well, it was a party. Word is that he's the brains behind the operation. You're talking about Matthew. I was just having a laugh, all right? Yeah. Well, now that we're separated, I suppose you can do what you like, can't you? Exactly. What do you want, Terry? It's about this meeting. You know, with the, um... Kafka's office, yeah. Yeah. I was just wondering if you were still up for it. Well, I've said so, haven't I? Is that it? Yeah. Right, well, actually, uh, I was wondering if I could see TJ. He's still asleep. Yeah. Of course he is. Look, I think we should stay out of each other's way until this meeting, don't you? Fine. That's the way you want to play it. I mean, I'm just interested in seeing my son. Oh, Terry. I caught you. I was wondering when I could move my stuff in. You all right? Yeah, fine. Now. Right. Sure you don't want some? No. The way I'm feeling, it'd choke me. Look, you can't prove anything. I'll drop it if I were you. <laughs> no chance. Good morning. So it smells good. Yeah, well, if you want out, you're going to have to make it yourself. This is mine. I'm starving. Mm. How are you feeling? Lousy, but I'll survive. And tell me, how's that lovely Sadie this morning? Mm, throwing her weight about. She hasn't been back five minutes. She's already calling the shots. I don't know why my dad puts up with it. He won't take it from us. Mm, she's a bit of an organiser, then, is she? Control freak, more like. She can be a right bitch and all. <laughs> no. Just don't go getting on the wrong side, otherwise you're stuffed. Yeah, thanks for the advice. Hey, I couldn't have a shower, could I? Only I left home a bit sharpish. Well, go on, then. Don't use all the hot water. Yeah, and please do lock the bathroom. I'm still recovering from last night. Sorry? It's not about you and me behind the curtain. Oh, I've forgotten about that. Oh, thanks a bunch. Hey, Dad didn't see us, did he? <laughs> no, only just mine. Good job. I mean, enough hot water as it is. Right, well, I'm going in. You going in where? Where do you think? Work? You can't go into work looking like that? Yeah. And that's exactly what Lady Muck thinks. I tell you, I've got it. Well, he's obviously missed you. And I've missed him too, haven't I, Damon? You miss that dog more than you miss me. <laughs> well, at least Damon's not a liar. 
I couldn't cope with a dog, could I? You were gone four weeks. I work, remember? Well, next time I go away, perhaps I'll put you in kennels. Uh -huh. Oh, hey, hey, hey Damon! <laughs> Long time no see. Apparently so. So, how was Cuba? Oh, it was fantastic. I didn't want to come home. Sometimes I wonder why I'm married. <laughs> what did you get up to? Well, I stayed in some lovely hotels. I learned how to salsa. I bet you did. And what about you and this cricket pitch? Yeah, good news, that. Well, it was up until last night, thanks to our Carl. Yeah, he's been told. Anyway, it's done now. We're going to get a right load of aggro because of it. Well, we've dealt with that sort of thing before. They're all pensioners, aren't they? The gobby ones, that is. Yeah, it's a done deal. The villagers will just have to get used to it. So, what's it like round here? Well, it's not Cuba. Don't tell me. A pub and a shop, am I right? Bang on. Oh, I guess I'll have to take up horse riding again. So long as you don't buy one. I've got enough competition with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's only me. This is a surprise. When did you arrive? Yesterday. All oh, right. You're having a bit of a break, are you? You know, holiday. No. I've moved in. Ah. What permanently? Like? Yeah. Ah, great. So, what was the talent like? It was all couples. Oh, typical. I don't know how you're supposed to pick up a fella these days. Mm. Take it, Carl was there. Yeah. And? And nothing. Chaz was all over him. She's probably only doing it to wind me up. Yeah. Take it worked. Well, what was I supposed to do? Throw myself at him? Who dares wins has always been my motto. Yeah, but it's not very right on, is it? No, but neither's watching wave swap on your day off. So true. Uh, don't look now. But here he comes. I'll leave you to it. Oh, and remember, eyes, teeth and chest, but not necessarily in that order. <laughs> It's a present from Havana. Well done, Dad. More than I got. That's not your birthday, is it? Anyway, I thought you were phoning the estate agent. Fine. Oh. You always did have impeccable taste. Oh. Tell me, what do you think of Charity? Well, um, she seems very nice. She is. How long was she in prison? Oh, <clears throat> don't know, about uh, a couple of months. Anyway, she was acquitted. Oh, our family are rather colourful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're nice people. It's just a pity they live right next door. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad you like her. It means a lot to me. Oh, yeah? Uh, uh, well, shouldn't you be at home? I thought I'd surprise you. Oh, get us a packet of crisps, would you? I'm starving. I haven't had any breakfast. Chess not feeding you up? I'm working on it. I think I might get a boob job. I thought he was going out with Chaz. Not for much longer, by the looks of it. Oh, didn't think she was interested. Oh, come on, Terry. He's a good-looking bloke. Are they gold dust round here? You don't know what's happened to the crisps, do you, if I know? No idea. Mind you, we did have a rush on crisps last night. We had that. Yeah. But me and Bob had a crisp eating competition. <laughs> you had to be there. Well, that was quite a tumble. Yeah, well, I will wear daft shoes. Anyway, I had to come in dinner. We're going out for dinner? Yeah. I believe we are. Oh, I hate to be a killjoy, but isn't that rather silly? Mm, sorry to be sensible. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Well, wait, 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 wait a minute. Shouldn't I be the judge of that? After all, I'm the one wearing the brace. Oh, and the sling. Quite. Why don't we have dinner another day, eh? Yeah, 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 fine. Right, well, I can drive you home if you like. I've only just got here. Surely you're not thinking of working. Of course I am. All done. You wouldn't like to check it, would you? Yeah. Uh, excuse me. I'm impressed. Thought you put me out of action, did you? You tripped. Oh, I tripped, all right. Straight after you pushed me. Well, you can't prove anything. <sighs> Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Very sensible. How can you wait me so much, then? I know your type. 
You know nothing about me. I know trailer trash when I see it. Well, I know a class A bitch when she's sitting right in front of me. We've got an appointment to see house at 12, so uh, get your skates on. I'd start looking for another job if I were you. What are you doing here? I'd move back in with Van, didn't I? Since when? Since yesterday. Well, he must be a bigger mug than I thought he was. What do you think you're doing? I thought I might check out a few cars. Have you got? Just push off. Make me. Get off me now! What do you think you're doing? Get off me! Get off me now! Get off me now! Let go of him! I said, let go of him! Daz, get in the car. Touch him again and you're dead. You're losing it. Do you know that? Okay, take it up a bit. A smidge more. Over to the left. Yep, 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 there. Brill. Wait a minute. you came in today. Yeah, so am I. Sorry you didn't get to finish my birthday, so. Oh, hey, don't worry about it. That's life, isn't it? Still, you'll have other birthdays. <laughs> I do hope so. Hmm. Picture up. Picture up. I think a bottle of champagne's in order, don't you? Just to say sorry for yesterday, what do you think? You're the boss. You know he threatened them with a shotgun, don't you? Who? Andy, keep up, will ya? If it had been me, I'd have pulled the trigger. Just look at him, sitting there. Well, it is a pub. Yeah, and she's married to his brother. I think I'll go and collect some glasses, see if I can't eavesdrop on a bit of goss. Hello? I don't talk into marriage. Here's the man that broke my heart on my wedding day. <laughs> Hiya, mate. Excuse me, you can't bring that dog in here. Well, he's very well behaved. Yeah, sorry, no dogs allowed. I'll put him in the car. Uh, actually, weren't you at the party last night? Um, yeah. Sadie King. Uh, and you are? Uh, Louise Appleton. Oh, Hi. pleased to meet you. Look, Louise, I've just got back from Cuba and I've missed my baby so much. Surely you can make an exception. Uh, just this once, I'd be really grateful. Um, uh, please? OK, but in future. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Come on. Come on, darling. I don't know why you're getting so upset. I'm getting upset, Rob, because everything is going wrong. I'm sick of feeling like a leper. Even Donna will not speak to me. Yeah, well, that's no great loss. I've got no one to talk to, Rob. You've got me. One lasagna, one pie and chips. Thanks. Thanks. Look, sweetheart. So everyone's talking about you being a trollop. So what? It's better than being ignored. Enjoy your meal. Katie! I've um, been thinking all morning how to put this, but do you really think it's a good idea having Daz back? I was wondering how long it'd take you. Well, there's no way I'm letting him down again. I accuse him of lying about Katie and Robert. It turns out he's the only one telling the truth. Well, if you're sure. I'm only thinking about you, son. It's my fault. Where are you going? Any business? Oi, let's have the back chat. Just put out, will you? Don't be too late back. This food's disgusting. <laughs> it's not great, is it? Yeah. 
Look at him. You'd think he was chatting to his best mate, not my ex-boyfriend. Mm. He's a good chef, Carl, isn't he? I mean, how come he's not jealous? It's not normal. Well, Katie didn't even touch the food. You do know the man you're laughing and joking with dumped me for my sister? Oh, just trying to be pleasant. Fall over yourself more like. OK. I'll ignore him. Oh, I'm not saying that. Then what are you saying? Forget it. Oh, hey, come on. Chill out, Frosty. Frosty, eh? It's an in-joke. Maybe we should just stay at Holgate Farm. To keep an eye on charity, you mean? Well, it wouldn't hurt. Surely Tom wouldn't be that stupid. Mind you, having said that, all men are stupid when it comes to sex. <laughs> She's hardly his type, though, is she? As a girlfriend, I mean. Precisely. I don't think she's any real threat. Now, after that, in the early 60s, I took a bit of a gamble. I borrowed a bit here and a bit there, bought a couple of wagons and never looked back. Oh, you make it sound so easy. Well, it depends what you call easy. I lived from hand to mouth for quite a few years. Let's put it this way. You learn to like beans on toast if you have to. Tell me about it. Anyway, I was determined to make it work and it paid off. Oh, I'd have been no good working for somebody else. Many years ago, I remember standing in front of a big merchant bank in London and there was a doorman in uniform and he spent his entire day opening and closing doors for other people. And I remember thinking to myself, I bet the only difference between you and the big boss in the big luxury office on the 10th floor is that he believes he should be the boss and you, my friend, believe that you should be on the door. What I'm trying to say is, raise your expectations. Mm. Ah, that's something I've tried to pass on to the boys, but unfortunately for them, they've never had the privilege of poverty. Whereas you, you have. Mm. You remind me of myself. Well, I shall take that as a compliment. Well, you should do. It was meant to be. I like you. And I like you. In fact, I like you a lot. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, Sadie. Yep. Yeah. How's your house hunting? Oh, <laughs> so you found the wool pack, have you? No, 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 I'm quite happy here, thank you. How are you doing? Looking for a job. What are you doing that for? Because I'm an half chef. That's why. What's brought this on? I, I can't. I keep Paddy. I'll do us a favour. Leave us alone, will you? Paddy. Fancy another? Make it a half, Jimmy. I've not unpacked yet. So, am I forgiven? Yeah. It's just weird seeing you chatting away with my ex-boyfriend, that's all. Got a problem. Oh, yeah. It's Marlon. I was thinking of changing profession, so we're going to have to come up with a plan. Quickly. Do <sighs> you feel better? I just wanted to clear my head, that's all. You've got to stop worrying. Who cares what other people think? Who do someone like that, Rob? I'll give you three guesses. Daz. Jumped a little pillock. So. I sell a fish to Louise, and uh, and you cook it on fish night. And that way, I get to sell a lot of fish, and uh, Louise is happy, and the customers, well, <laughs> they're ecstatic. And you're, you're saying there's been a, a big demand for fish? Oh, absolutely. All they want is fish. And let's face it, you can't go wrong with fish. You can if it's badly cooked. Well, I'm just being honest. Yeah. You know what, she's right. She's right. You're going to have to find yourself someone else. How about Carlos? No can do, mate. I'm moving on soon. Yeah, you're our only hope. You've got to say yes. I mean, well, put it like that. Tell you what, I've got some excellent recipes. Yeah, what, with them? And my fish? You can't go wrong, man. So you'll say yes, then? 
Well, yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I'm fine. You know something, Tom? I have uh, really enjoyed myself today. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Me too. You do realise that I have a lot of baggage. I can handle that. Not sure if the rest of your family can, though. Well, that's their problem. How do you feel? I don't know. I mean, it's a bit of a cliche, isn't it? In what way? Oh, you know, the secretary getting off with the boss. Cut to the second half and, hey, hey I'll be after your money. <laughs> no, that is what people will think, Tom. I couldn't give a toss what people think. Are you sure? Absolutely. Good. Sorry. We're not disturbing anything. You know, I should, I should go, really. I'll drive you. Yeah, yeah, but you've been drinking. You're right. Good girl, I'll call you a cab. OK. Oh, uh, I'll see you tomorrow then, yeah? Yeah. <laughs>